let's go ahead and begin. So sitting comfortably, bringing the palms down today on the thighs. Feeling that sensation of growing taller, accompanied by an ease of settling into self. Feeling the sternum lift as the heart opens, breathing soft. As we are in our seat in our first asana, shift your awareness and your focus inward through the breath or sensations in the body, whatever draws your attention. One of the greatest tools we have to stay present in our practice is the breath. Shifting our awareness just a little bit, turn the hands to the top of the knees, palms up, and bring your first finger and thumb to unite. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, gently press your first finger and thumb into one another. Inhale, release. Exhale, middle finger and thumb together. Inhale, release. Exhale, moving to the ring. Inhale, release. Exhale, moving to the pinky. Inhale, releasing. Starting from the beginning, exhale, first finger and thumb unite. Inhale, soften. Exhale, middle. Inhale, release. Exhale, ring finger. Inhale, release. Exhale, pressing into the pinky. Inhale, release. Repeat this one more time with your own breath. After you finish, stretch your hands to open wide and slide your hands so your arms straighten and spread your fingers. Bringing your shoulders on your back, lifting your heart. Inhale as you reach the fingertips overhead, trusting the fingertips to find one another. Bringing the hands to your heart. Closing your eyes again and settling into whatever intention you have for your practice today. Allowing the eyes to flutter open or keeping them closed, we'll inhale the arms up and exhale right arm to the ground, left arm reaches from pinky finger to the left hip. Find that opening in the side body, breathing into the left hip, keeping the shoulder blades down on the back. And then take the left hand and press it down towards the earth. Inhale as you draw your heart forward just a touch. Exhale, round the spine. Slowly crawl your hands in front of your body bowing over your legs and your legs can be in whatever position is comfortable for you. Breathing through the back. 
Start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. And exhale, the left hand comes down to the ground. Lengthen through the right fingertips, all the way through the right hip. And the right hand finds the floor. Start to turn towards the ground, gently bowing down. Inhale as you pull your heart forward. Exhale as you round. Walking the hands back to center, breathing into the back body and softening the hips down. Keeping the shoulder blades soft. Start to roll up one vertebrae at a time, coming to a nice tall spine. Inhale as we bring the arms up. Exhale as we draw the right hand down. Bring that left hand down to the ground. Inhale as you pull your heart forward. Exhale as you bow down. Walking the hands to the front of the body. Round the back of your spine and then curl up one vertebrae at a time, finding some resistance in your back, holding on to the knees. As we inhale, coming to a cow spine, lifting the heart and then exhale back to center, finding a tall spine. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, left hand to the floor, reaching through the right hip to the right fingers, planting that right hand on the ground, bowing down. Inhale, pulling the heart forward just a touch. Exhale as we round and walk the hands back to the front. Round the spine, breathe into the back body and slowly roll yourself up, feeling that resistance. Inhale as we pull the heart forward, coming into a cow. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, right hand to floor. Inhale as we pull the heart through. Exhale as we open to the back of the room, reaching the right arm behind us. Take that right hand to the floor and walking the hands in front of the body, bow down. Roll the hands back, finding a round spine. Inhale as we lift our heart. Exhale as the hands walk behind us and let the head fall back. Come back to a neutral spine. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Reach through the right side, right hip to right pinky fingers. Right hand comes to the floor and open the left hand to the back of the room. Walk the hands forward to the front of the body. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we round. Walk the hands back to the knees, feeling that rounded spine. And then inhale as we come to a nice tall spine. Coming to our hands and our knees, maybe taking a blanket underneath the knees now. Finding your cat and cow and just exploring this relationship in your spine as we work against gravity differently. Inhale as we pull the heart forward and exhale as we round our spine. One more time. Inhale, pull the heart forward. Exhale, round. He'll come to a neutral spine and we'll take that right leg behind us for some cab opening. Keep a slight micro bend in that right knee and just notice how that feels in the calf as opposed to straightening the knee versus keeping a slight bend. And then feel that stretch all the way through the Achilles to the bottom of the foot, press back through the heel. And then we'll float that right leg up and we'll kick that right leg out to the side for an awkward spinal balance. Placing that right foot down, inhale the left arm up, exhale, thread the left arm through. Take a breath here. 
Resting the head, resting the shoulder. Inhale as we thread that arm back up. And exhale as we slowly walk towards that right foot. Some of you might grab onto the leg. And exhale as you fold forward and bow down, releasing your head down towards the earth, releasing the shoulders. Coming back to center, we'll bring that right hand to our right hip, pull ourselves up, inhale the left arm up and reach over towards the left. Remembering it's morning hours, so just having patience and letting your body warm up. And then bringing that left hand down to the left side, reaching through the right pinky toes all the way to the right pinky fingers. And then finding our floating side plank. Placing the right foot down and walking our hands back to the front of our mat coming to our starting position of cat and cow finding table. Now straightening our left leg back, keeping a slight micro bend in that left knee, staying active and aware. And now straightening that left knee and floating that foot up. Bringing that left foot out to the side for our awkward spinal balance. And then placing that left foot down. Inhale as you reach the right arm up and thread the right arm through, bringing the head and shoulder down to the earth. Taking a breath here. Inhale as we reach the right arm up and exhale as we start to walk our hands towards that left foot. So each side is different, so just be patient with yourself. Some of you might grab onto that leg. And then the left hand will find the left hip as we rise up, coming into our side bend, just as we did seated. Noticing how it feels a little bit different now on the knee. Then taking the right hand to the floor, coming into our gate pose, we'll reach through the left pinky fingers, all the way down the body, and out the left pinky toes. Gaze can be up sideways or down, shoulders on your back, lift your heart. And then we'll float ourselves up into our floating side plank. coming back to all fours and into our table, we'll find a bent knee down dog. So lift your knees and lift your hips and keep your knees bent a lot. Just warming up the body, keeping the shoulders on the back, relaxing the neck, relaxing the head. Inhale as you lift to your tippy toes and exhale, bend your knees into this crouching down dog. Inhale two more times, lifting to the tippy toes. Exhale, bending the knees, crouching down dog. Inhale, lifting to the tippy toes. And now exhale, press the heels towards the ground, melting the heart towards the thighs. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale as we prepare to move, looking towards the hands, and then making your way to the front of your mat, however you can get there. Inhale, coming to a half lift. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale as we press through the heels and rise up. And exhale all the way back down, forward fold. Take some time here to spread your feet wide if that feels good. Shake out your head. 
open your jaw. Just opening your body up for today, maybe bending one knee at a time, swaying back and forth. And then inhale, coming into your half lift, we'll take our right hand under our face, maybe on a block, and our left hand to our hip. Slide that left hip back and open your ribs towards your left. So a little rib rotation here. Think of your body, your spine as a slinky. So your head is reaching forward, your hips are reaching back. And then we'll inhale as we rise up, right hand rises. Exhale as we take a little side bend towards the left. Inhale as we come all the way up and place that right hand behind your back, fingertips face up. Inhale as we open our heart, open our chest. And then exhale, forward fold, hands come to the hips and dig your fingers into your hips. Tilt your pelvis forward, as this is where the forward fold happens. Find your blocks or find the floor, and our left foot is going to go back into a lunge. Maybe you place that knee down, or maybe you keep your knee up. So it's whatever you're feeling today, it's your choice. Just asking what your body wants to do this morning. Inhale as we pull the chest forward. Exhale as we straighten both legs. Just a couple times here. Inhale, sink into your hips. And exhale as we straighten both of the legs. Noticing if you feel or have any expectations for your body this morning and see if you can soften them. Inhale as we drop that left knee down and we'll open the right arm to the side, coming into a kneeling, twisting triangle. Taking a breath here. Coming back down to our hands to frame that foot, and then pressing through that front heel, coming into our half splits pose. Taking whatever variation with that front foot that you'd like. So see how it feels to have the toes up versus the toes down. And then we will pivot our left knee to face the middle of the mat and turn the right toes towards the middle of the mat and walk our hands forward coming into a variation of a puppy dog pose with gait pose. So melting our heart towards the floor and lifting the hips up towards the ceiling. Breathing into the hips, breathing into the back body. We'll walk the hands back under the face, bringing our right hand to the right hip and rising up for our side bend. So we're reaching and opening through the left side of the body and then bringing that left hand to the floor into our gate pose reaching from the right pinky toes to the right pinky fingers, looking at the ground and coming into our floating side plank. Coming back down and finding our beginning position, facing the front of our mat, taking a moment to find plank pose, hands under our shoulders, taking a breath here, up the core, hugging everything into the midline, and then bringing the knees down on the ground. Opening up the hips, continuing to do that with a nice long spine, reaching through that left heel. We're going to bend our knee and open our hip. Try to keep the front of the body nice and stable. Inhale as we straighten that leg back. Exhale as we take it around. Now coming to the inside, hugging the midline, opening the knee and kicking it back. One more time, just feeling that rotation of the joint in the socket where it's happy, and then taking it over to the right leg. So kicking through that heel, hugging into the midline, we'll open that knee and 
then bring the knees close. Inhale, kick back. Exhale is the open. And then shifting that direction. Bring it down, open and back. Keeping the breath nice and smooth. And then kicking it back. Taking our downward facing dog now, lifting the knees, lifting the hips, taking a breath. Inhale as we prepare to move, and exhale as we come towards the front of our mat, however you'd like to get there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, and exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold. Left hand under our face, right hand to the hip. So pull the heart forward, push the hips back, and rotate your ribs to the right. Inhale as we rise, left arm comes up. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale, coming to, uh, hands come to your backside, and lift your heart. Exhale, grab onto your hips, turn your pelvis forward and forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, right leg comes back into that lunge. Knee can be down or knee can be lifted, so it's your choice. Inhale as you sink into your hips, pulling your heart forward. And exhale as you straighten both legs lifting the hips up and back. Inhale, pulling the heart forward. And exhale, bowing down over that front leg. Inhale as we drop our back knee and exhale as you open your left arm to that twisted triangle on our knee. And then we'll pivot our knee towards the middle of the mat and straighten our left leg. So it's facing the middle of the mat as well. So walking the hands forward into that Anahata Asana, opening the heart, coming into our puppy dog pose on this side, lifting the hips up, melting the heart down. We'll slowly rise up, bringing the hand to the hip, and coming towards that straight leg in our side bend. And then floating that right hand down towards the ground, coming into our floating side plank. Spiral yourself into your plank pose. Holding for a breath. And then dropping the knees, coming into our table. Right arm is going to extend forward. Left leg is going to extend back into our extended table. Reaching in both directions. Everything's hugging the midline. Just practicing and playing with stability. Coming back to your intention. And then bringing everything back to center. Switching to the other side, right leg reaches, left arm out. Reaching in both directions as long as you can. Turning up the corners of your mouth as you're breathing and you're alive. And coming back to center. Taking your down dog, knees bent a lot or not. Taking a full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, preparing to move. And exhale, making the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, coming to a flat back. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, forward fold. 
right hand in front of our face, left hand to our hip, open to the left, open your ribs and inhale, rise up. Exhale, side bend over to the left, inhale, both hands come behind your back, lift your chest. Exhale, grab your hips, forward fold. Left foot steps back, coming into your lunge. Now the knees off the ground. Inhale, dropping the hips down. Exhale, straightening the legs. Two more times. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, lift the hips up and back. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping the legs as straight as they can, we're gonna open the right arm to the right, coming into your version of Twisted Triangle. Taking a breath here. And then walking the hands to the middle of the mat, turning the feet towards the middle of the mat, we're gonna lunge over towards our left leg. Sinking the hips down as much as your body feels like it can today. And then as we walk our hands over to the right, we're gonna turn our right toes towards the front of the mat. Guide your right elbow up towards that right inner thigh, coming into your side angle now. Keeping that left hand on the left hip, rolling the left ribs open, or extending that left arm overhead, coming into your full side angle. Notice how this feels off the knee as opposed to on the knee. Not much has changed with our upper body. Inhale as we reverse our warrior two. So keeping that right leg nice and bent and strong and pushing the hips back, coming into Trikonasana or triangle pose. Opening the heart, opening the arms. Inhale as we press through that front heel, hugging the feet together, coming into reverse triangle and spiral on those back toes, coming into our high crescent lunge. So keeping that back knee as straight as you can, maybe a little micro bend. Prepare to step forward, coming into a chair pose, just for a moment. Sink deep, heart lifts, and exhale forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Left hand underneath the face. Right hand comes to the hip. Open your ribs to the right. Inhale as we rise up, left hand reaches. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale, both hands come to the base of the spine. Lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold all the way down right foot lunges back. This time right knee off the ground. Inhale as we sink our hips down, pull our heart forward, and exhale as we straighten both legs as best as we can. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale as you lift your hips, Hug the feet towards each other and begin to twist open to the left to your twisting triangle. Now bringing that hand back towards the earth, we'll pivot our hands to the middle of the mat, pivot our feet to the middle of the mat, facing the back of your mat. We're gonna lunge towards your right leg and now lunge towards the left. The left toes turn towards the front of the mat, and we bring that left elbow to our left thigh, bringing our right hand to our hip, coming into our side angle on the other side. Taking that right hand overhead and stretching right pinky toes to right pinky fingers. On your exhale, reversing your warrior. Coming into reverse warrior two. Inhale as we transition into triangle pose, reaching the arms forward, pressing the hips back, opening in all four directions. Inhale as we press through that front heel, coming into reverse triangle. 
Exhale as we pivot on the back foot into our high crescent lunge. And stepping into our chair pose with grace, sitting the hips down, lifting the heart forward. Exhale as we bow forward fold. Inhale, we come to a flat back. And exhale, right hand to the block or the floor, left hand to our hip, repeating our sequence. Inhale as we rise up, exhale side bend. Now maybe that hand comes behind your back, left hand behind your back. As we inhale, maybe we interlace our elbows this time as we lift our chest. Exhale, forward fold, releasing the hands down. Inhale, coming to a flat back. Exhale, as we step our left foot back, low lunge, and pressing both legs straight, coming into our twisting triangle. Walking our hands to the middle of the mat, pivoting to the middle of the mat, sinking towards our left leg, coming into that side low lunge. Walking the hands over to the right side of the body, coming into that right low lunge, and just moving back and forth. Opening the inner thighs. As we come back to the right, We'll turn the right toes towards the front of the mat and rise up into our side angle, taking our left hand to our left hip or reaching it overhead. Feel free to take that right hand now to the ground or to a block behind you and maybe you take your bind. So that top hand comes behind you and reaching that bottom arm around and through if you're there. Anything is awesome. Coming into our reverse warrior two, inhale, opening the heart, exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. And now adding on, exhale as we come into our half moon. So maybe taking your block with you and opening into that half moon pose. Thank you, Lee. Maybe playing around with lifting those bottom fingers off of the block. Now coming into a chair pose, just for a moment, we're going to step our left foot down, rise up on our left leg, and then coming into a variation of tree that you choose. So the right hip is going to open here and really feeling tall through that midline and grounding down through that left foot. Maybe keeping your hands here today or opening them up. Taking a breath. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale as we take our left hand under our face and right hand to the hip, opening towards the right, rising up, left hand comes with us. Exhale as we take our side bend. Maybe that right hand comes behind our low back. Coming back to center, inhale, wrap your left hand to meet the right elbow or maybe fist bump, whatever you're feeling today. Inhale as we lift the heart. Exhale as we forward fold, releasing the hands whenever you choose. Inhale, right leg steps back, coming into your low lunge. And exhale as we open into our twisted triangle. Awesome. Coming into our side lunge, moving over to the right side, and then over to the left, back over 
over to the right. And now turning those left toes to face the front of the mat, rising up into our side angle of choice. Any variation that you choose. Feeling the stretch from the pinky toes to the pinky fingers. Inhale as we reverse our warrior two. Exhale coming into triangle. Inhale reversing our triangle. And then exhale into your half moon. So possibly finding that block, finding your balance. And keeping your dristy point, so that point of gaze helps when it's straight down. Taking a moment to find your chair pose, balancing this time on your right foot, coming into your tree. So foot can rest on the floor, calf or inner thigh. And really getting tall through that midline, shoulders on your back, heart lifts, maybe arms open. Staying here for another breath. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, coming to a flat back. Exhale, coming down to the floor into your table position. Taking our left foot straight back and opening that left hip so we can open our left arm coming back into our floating side plank. We're gonna stretch the front side of our body, that's so ass, and hip flexor by bending our top knee grabbing the top of the foot if you can and pushing the hip forward. Taking a breath here or just staying in your floating side plank, practicing balance. If you'd like a little more challenge, you can look up or finding more balance looking down. Unwinding, coming back to center, coming back to your tabletop. Spread your knees, bring your big toes together, and come into a child's pose. Reconnecting with your breath, reconnecting with the earth. Rising up to all fours, coming to the other side. Taking the right leg back, opening that right hip, opening the right arm, and if you choose, bending that top knee, grabbing the top foot, and pressing that hip forward, rolling the top shoulder back. Finding your dristy point, your gaze, down, sideways or up. Inhaling as we unwind, coming back to our child's pose, spreading the knees, bringing the big toes together, walking the hands over to the left side, placing the right hand on top of the left, feeling that arc in the right side of the body, breathing all the way down into the hips, up into the ribs, shoulders, and tricep. Walking the hands over to the right side, placing the left hand on top of the right, creating a big arc with the left side of your body. Breathing into the hips, lungs, shoulders, and tricep. Making your way back to center and Coming onto your knees, sitting on your feet, we'll take a gentle twist, a gentle seated rotation. So coming up to kneeling, we'll gently twist over to our left. So not cranking 
the spine here, just taking a gentle rotation, keeping the spine tall. And then walking over to the right, using the arms to guide you while not cranking on the spine. Feeling a lifting, a lengthening. And coming back to center, coming into a Baddha Konasana seated, a butterfly pose. We will begin to breathe into our hips. Breathing across the sacrum, taking whatever variation with your back that you'd like. If you'd like to round your back or keep it straight, it's up to you. Breathing all the way down into the hips, into the low back. Coming back up, rising up, the left leg is straight. Your choice to cross your right knee over your left or just keep it open and on the ground for a gentle twist. We'll twist over towards that bent knee. So if you have the knee up, you can grab onto the knee. But once again, not cranking the spine, just taking a gentle twist, listening to your body, Building that relationship. Building the communication between your body and your breath. Coming back to center, keeping the right leg on the bottom, we're gonna practice your double pigeon and it might be more comfortable if you have a block under your top ankle. So try that if it's uncomfortable for you to rest your ankle on top of your knee. This might be a little bit more comfortable. And then just use whatever props you need. You can take a blanket between your knees, but just really breathe into your hips and have patience, have patience and be kind to yourself. Slowing down the breath and following your breath with your mind. One more breath here. And then coming back up, rising up, bending our left knee and keeping our right leg straight. So your choice, if you'd like to bring that left knee across and hug the knee as you turn to the left. Taking a gentle twist here Keeping the pelvis neutral, we'll breathe into the twist. Sitting up tall. Rounding down through the pelvis. back to center, keeping that left leg bent and underneath, taking your right knee on top of the left into your variation of double pigeon. So maybe you take your right ankle and set it on a block or cross it in front of you and take a blanket in between your knees. So whatever variation that you want to practice today, whatever variation your body is telling you is okay, is wonderful. Each side is different. So remembering that it doesn't matter how far or how deep you go into any pose. And just taking 
taking a walk today to keep opening the hips. Would be lovely for your body. One more breath here. And now we'll lean back, taking some windshield wipers with our legs, dropping the knees side to side, one of the most gentle ways to move our body. And then we'll bring the feet out in front of us, coming into a forward fold. So see whatever your spine wants to do today. Maybe your spine wants to stay straight, maybe it wants to round. Breathing into the feet, breathing into the calves, hamstrings, and the back, allowing gravity to take over. And wherever you are today is where you are, and that's where you're working from. you want to facilitate change, the most effective way to do it is without combat. Coming from a space of peace, ahimsa, loving kindness. <clears throat> and wherever you are, you'll start to make your way onto the back side of your body. So however you would like to get there. And once you arrive, taking some gentle knee circles. Moving our knees one direction, nice and slow, just massaging the low back. other direction. And then maybe coming into a happy baby or a half happy baby. So just working with one leg at a time, you can open one of your legs and pull that knee towards the armpit. Or if it feels good for you, taking both legs and grabbing onto the shins, the ankles or the feet. Feeling the pelvis descend, the shoulders on the back. Maybe feeling the sun on your face. Taking a little rock back and forth. And then making our way so that our feet touch the ground. Bringing our feet wide and knocking the knees together for a moment. Feeling supported. And then making your way into your Shavasana, whatever shape that you choose. So realizing that the arms and the legs can extend out with the palms facing up. Or taking any shape that your body wants. So just go ahead and find that Shavasana. Letting your body sink into the earth beneath you. Everything you came here to do has been done. Now giving yourself permission to release. Allowing your body to follow the ebb and flow of your breath.
once you feel that union of body, mind, and spirit start to reawaken to your day and to your life, feeling refreshed and renewed. Taking any movements that your body would like taking, maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes, or stretching arms overhead. And taking an organic journey into the fetal position, pausing in the fetal position for just a moment. And then traveling full circle to a tall spine in a comfortable seat. Hands resting where it feels comfortable for you. Giving yourself a breath. Inhale, arms sweep up and overhead. Fingertips find one another. As you exhale, hands slide back towards the heart, thumbs to the sternum. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, gently press your pinky fingers together. Inhale, release. Exhale, ring fingers. Inhale, release. Exhale, middle. Inhale, release. Exhale, first fingers. Inhale, release. Exhale, thumbs. Inhale, release. Exhale, press all 10 fingers into each other. And as you inhale, release and open just the three middle fingers away from one another, keeping the pinky and the thumbs connected, finding the Lotus Mudra as you open up, sending your intentions and your dreams, your wishes out into the world. Nothing is too big, too silly or too small. Bringing the fingers back together, a little bow. The light and love in me humbly bows to the light and love in every one of you. Namaste.